What's good, y'all? Welcome back to another video, another episode of Walks with Joe. So, today we're gonna talk about, you know, some things I like about living in China, right? So China gets a lot of bad press uh, from the Western media, Western YouTubers, and a lot of it I think is warranted and is true, but I think China is often made out to be you know, hell on earth or something like that. Um, which isn't true. Then, you know, why do foreigners come here to live if that's the case? Because it's not the case, right? Yeah, I think it, it, it can be hell on earth for certain people. Um, and we will talk about that in another video. But today I want to focus on, you know, some things that I like about living in China. I've been here over two years and I was originally only going to be here one year but I liked it so much that I decided to extend for another year and it's been it's been overall quite great I mean it's been a great experience so we're just gonna sit right here and go over some things that I like about living in China and these are more practical things the practicality is the dynamic of living in China um, not really so much on the cultural side of things this is more about like actual some benefits of living in China so the first one is drinking beer in public man you can drink beer in public here and I know in some countries you can do the same but where I'm from in the States you can't do that you'll get a charge you'll get an open carry charge not open carry charge that's for guns but an open container uh, so you can't do it in the states but here in china it's no one will bat an eye if i just you know walked in that convenience store over there and i got a can of beer and just start walking the streets and drinking and um yeah dude it, it, it's it's really chill in that respect and it's nice because you know instead of just sitting at a bar like you have to in the states and drink you know a nine dollar beer you know you can still do that here there are tons of bars but what I like most is you know walking with a friend or a couple friends through the city and uh, just you know getting a container um, getting a can and uh, my bad some dad dad and his son start talking to me but <laughs> but yeah just uh, it, that's cool and the second thing is public transportation, man. Uh, the public transport here is amazing, amazing. Um, it's it works so well, both in cities and extending to other cities. It works so amazingly well, and it's reasonably priced as well. Um, a metro ride here is, you know, three yuan for most most rides which is what you know 50 cents about not even 50 cents it's like 42 cents to to go from across the city to the other part of the city and I live in Shanghai the public transport here is amazing it, it's honestly awesome if you think about how many people they have here and yet the transportation works so well the, the trains are never late. They're never late. They're always on time. And they're pretty... They're very convenient, to say the least. The bus system also is, is nice. I don't use that as much, but I have friends that do. Uh, and that's even cheaper. That's like uh, 1.5 or 2 UN, which is... I don't know, 30 cents to take the bus somewhere. 25 or 30 cents to take the bus. So the public transport here is amazing. And the transport on the high-speed trains to different cities, that is, is incredible. Um, you know, it's not that expensive. You'll, it, depending on where you're going, you know, you'll spend anywhere from 10 to 50, 60 dollars uh, to go to a you know, pretty far away place in a decent amount of time. I love it and I prefer it 
over airplanes, right? Because you don't have a lot of waiting time. You just get to the station, you get your ticket, and then the, the trains themselves are more spaced out than the airplane. You have more leg room, um, and it, it's overall just much more convenient. You can look out the window and see the landscape flying by. Beautiful landscape, depending on where you're headed to. And it's just awesome, and I really wish we had that in the States. The rail system in the States is dog shit, man. I mean, it's expensive as hell, and it's slow as hell. Uh, it's, we don't have it. We don't have it. We rely on we rely on airplanes in the States or driving cars, um, which sucks sometimes, you know? It, it does suck sometimes. And, uh, yeah. So that's number two, guys, public transport. Three? Number three is, what was my number three, guys? Sorry, guys, I forgot what my number three was, but I got my notebook now. Number three is the, the cost of living here is much better than in the States. Um, so I've been here over two years, like I said, and I've noticed that the cost of living has slightly increased since when I first arrived, but it still does not compare to the States. And so I'm, the money I make here, I would be on the poverty line in the States if you equated it into dollars. But yet I'm still able to live a very comfortable life here with the money I make. I'm a single guy, so it could be different if you have a family. Um, but the, the cost of living here is quite low. Uh, and I live in Shanghai, which is probably the most expensive place to live in China. And yet it's still pretty good. Um, you know, rent here, I, I, I live in a studio and I probably pay in dollars like $480 a month. Um, so it's, it's not so bad. And I'm living in the downtown as well, right? So. You know, I live in a good location and I'm not paying that much money. And you know, every th most things here are cheaper. The food here is cheaper. Um, the transportation, I already went over that, cheaper. Uh, you know, some things are more expensive, like clothing. So if you see American Eagle or brands like that that we have in the States, that over here will probably be more expensive, right? But if you pay uh, for Chinese clothing, it's cheaper. Uh, there's some Chinese brands that are pretty good. And uh, you can still go to the popular international brands, but those will cost more. But overall, the cost of living here is, is much lower. The food is cheaper. The rent is cheaper. The utilities are cheaper. Um, I'm trying to think of, uh, you know, what else? Um, Going to movies, uh, it's about the same, maybe a bit cheaper. Depends also what movie you're seeing, because the prices will uh, range, um, depending on that, which is interesting. Um, what else is what else do we buy? <laughs> uh, this is also part of transportation, but DDs, which are the Chinese form of Uber, uh, they're pretty they're pretty cheap. You know, most things here are cheaper, guys. And so that's another nice thing about living here. So let's go on to number four. Number four is uh, interesting sightings, right? So living in China, you're gonna see random stuff all the time. So it could be a random booth set up in a park that is meant to be like a promotion for some company, right? some robotics company or some movie coming out soon. Uh, so they'll have, you know, statues of the characters and, you know, little games to play. And, you know, you can go to the park and you'll see um, tons of old people dancing in the square, choreographed dancing. It's like some hobby they have. And you're always seeing random stuff, random interesting stuff. Um, and it, it, one thing I like about China is like so many times you can just pause a frame, like just look at a frame of something you're looking at and it's so detailed, right? There'll be little ads in the corner. Uh, there'll be, you know, a stray dog over in this corner. Um, there'll be, you know, a grandpa and his grandson walking over in the middle. 
and then there'll be you know three guys on scooters flying by in the background and it's so dense right and you're always seeing something new something random and it's always it creates a an interesting flavor in the daily life is you're always seeing something interesting it's it's rarely boring here right so that's something that's nice and the last thing guys this is more to do with the culture and I know it's getting dark but this is more to do with the culture um, and that is no annoying politics really so in the states at least from where I'm from Washington DC area people are always talking about politics man either from the right or from the left and I remember um, it would just get so annoying man it's like you couldn't escape it at your job or at school or even at the dinner table with your family. It's just like, God, like, can you guys just stop? Like, is it so part of your lives? It's like it can seem that it's all people are talking about ever. And it can get really heated and polarizing, right? Yeah, guys, I went in because it was getting dark. But the people, they, they don't talk much about politics, which can be refreshing in my opinion, um, especially coming from the DC area. It can be really refreshing to be around that and just, you know, talk about other things aside from politics and, you know, people getting heated and polarized. Um, so that's nice, but I will say that the reasons that people don't talk about it much, uh, not all so positive or jovial which I will talk about in a upcoming video which I will talk about the things that I don't like about living in China all right because of course there's positives and negatives to every place so even though I like that people don't talk about politics much I know that the reason for it is something not so great which I'll talk about later but overall guys you know there's a lot to like about living in China and I've loved living here so far. And um, yeah, guys, uh, I, it's, I recommend at least visiting if you have the chance. I think it's worth it. So I'll talk to you guys soon. Hit that like, hit that sub if you can. Um, I'll smell y'all soon. I'll smell y'all later. Peace out.